STARS has three bases in Alberta. We also have a base in Winnipeg, Manitoba. Uh, we also have two in Saskatchewan, one in Regina and one in Saskatoon. Um, where I work, the Emergency Link Center, our job is to locate where is the patient so that we can support them. And that support may be that we're sending them a, a STARS aircraft because that might be most appropriate. And the GIS, of course, is a major component of that. GIS gives us all the information that we need all in one place. So when we've mapped out a location, we can see precisely where it is using GPS or a legal land description. And then we can pull up phone numbers, we can pull up nearby industry sites, we can pull up technical specialists in the area. So we've got that whole wealth of information right at our fingertips and we don't have to go into multiple different programs to search it all out. We're constantly evolving in terms of what we use. So Web App Builder is our main interface. We also have started using Survey123. Geo event extensions become a big part of what we do. We use FME. The idea that the Link Center isn't the only place where an event can be created is becoming part of our reality. So Survey123 or Collector or ArcGIS Online just as a desktop interface uh, is starting to be leveraged. And as we move into using things like Geo event extension, we start to automate those processes and start to take human error completely out of the equation. GS has made a huge difference with bringing all these other technologies and all of these other sources online dynamic data sets in the background not only does it enrich it and make it better it makes decision making easier and if you can decrease the amount of error that could potentially arise when trying to determine positions and locations and things like that it's a really really big deal so we've been involved with uh, Esri now for about 15 years, so it's been a long time. They've just been more of a partner than a vendor, I think, in a lot of ways in, in terms of helping us out. They, they have the expertise, they have the appetite, they work with us, but they ultimately really feel like they want us to be successful. The support that we received was, hands down, probably the best support I've ever received in, in customer service. Really, really appreciate the Esri team. Now people are asking, what's next? What else can you do with the system? How else can we leverage the system? And so it's really opened the door for us now to, to have a lot of enthusiasm, a lot of excitement from the end user level up to the executive level in terms of, of the different things that we can do with it. So now we're spending a lot of time um, taking what we've already built and really bringing it to the next level and, and opening the door for, for new functions in the future.